Welcome to the July 10th edition of Colorado Inside Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. Let's get a quick take on officials overseeing the construction of Aurora's new VA hospital, having upsetting the community members this week. In response to veteran inquiries about progress of the new hospital, officials have posted signs of the current location touting that the new facility is over 50% complete. Patty Cahoon from Westward, uh, I know you're trying, these officials might be able, trying to put a positive spin on this, but this is, I think what Kyle Clark called it, a monument to mismanagement. Um, and he also talked about tone deafness. All, all those hit right onto it. What do you think of it? Well, it's idiocy. I mean, they've been doing a dog and pony show. They also had some reporters and they talked about, look at this great futuristic treatment you can get, you know, um, and we'll be helping the VAs, who's, uh, the vets, who certainly deserve good health care as much as anyone does. I mean, they for their service to the country. But 55% done or 60, how you can even tell, that's like saying your surgery is 55% done. <laughs> if your surgical operation is not completed, it really isn't going to matter to your ultimate health. So in this case, we need the whole project done and done with some, some uh, control of the money and of how well it's done. We don't want to be fixing it again in 10 years. David Copel for the Independence Institute and DU Law School. I can understand the VA wanting to answer a lot of questions, and I can see them getting a lot of questions from veterans saying, when's this new hospital going to be done? But this seems like the exact wrong way to go about solving that problem. Well, I guess I, I disagree with Patty. I think it's interesting at construction projects when they, they put up signs showing completion progress. I, I would say they could go even further on public information. They should also have a sign showing day by day how much over budget they are <laughs> as an absolute value and as a percentage, and then also another sign that says how many days late we are and then uh, which I, is well into the hundreds maybe the I guess into the thousands at this point and of course then they should also have an informational graphic which says this percentage of the money was wasted because of this particular reason this percentage was wasted for the different reasons so that people can really understand all of uh, the VA's fine services for the uh, the public in Colorado. Penn Tate, attorney at Greenberg Traurig, also a longtime state lawmaker. It, it seems, I, I like David's point, if you're going to have some poster with progress, put out all the information, including maybe some photos of the folks who have not been fired, even though they've been part of this uh, boondoggle. Uh, what do you think? Well, I'm sorry, as you led into the story, I, I missed this. I, I never knew there was someone overseeing the, <laughs> the management or construction of the project, so I feel a little unequipped to, to speak to it. But, uh, yeah, there ought to be a list of the people who were going to fire if we could figure <laughs> out what we had done wrong and what we aren't doing, but we're too confused to even list those people. You know, it's a shame. The vets deserve better, and frankly, as a community and taxpayers, we all deserve better. Uh, when, when you hear people who are critical of government at every level, this is exactly the, 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 the case that they cite for what's wrong with government. Um, it's inept, it's insulting, it's insult to injury because you lie and obfuscate over why you are where you are. And at the end of the day, as Patty said, who cares if the building's 55% complete because 100% of the vets aren't getting any treatment there. So why talk about it? Just do the thing and be done with it. Ed Seeler from the Denver Business Journal, wrap it up for us. On the long, long, long list of screw-ups the VA has made with the hospital, this is not really at the top of it. I mean, to me, the idea isn't terrible of saying, here's a little progress, but I think the accurate way of doing this is to say, here's when we're expecting to complete it. I mean, how long have we been 50% complete for now. I mean, we've been moving at a glacial pace or been stalled for so long. It, it reminds me of an old editor of mine who used to say that we never allow hospitals to say that somebody is in stable condition because if you're dead, you're in stable condition. <laughs> you know, it may be 50% complete, but if that means we're still looking at 70 years down the road to finish this and the way we're going, we should tell people that instead. That is all the time we have for Colorado Inside Post Game this week. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Gazzutti. Thanks for watching.